During emergencies, there is heavy call volume placed on cell phone providers. Due to the high volume of calls coming in and going out, mobile phones may become unreliable. Take this into consideration when planning a meeting place. Also, remember to have a plan for evacuating large animals and pets. At night, keep a sturdy pair of shoes and a flashlight near your bed in an easily accessible area in case of an unexpected evacuation order. Practice your evacuation plan often and with your family. Everyone should be familiar with the plan. Make sure you practice going through your primary and secondary evacuation routes. Visit ReadySanDiego.org in your local fire department for more information. Follow direction from law enforcement officers. Understand that our resources and ability to respond may be overwhelmed. Law enforcement will do our best to manage traffic if possible. If we ask you to yield for other vehicles, please follow our direction. When law enforcement closes a road, follow the closure and do not expect to be able to go back until all is clear. This could limit or eliminate your ability to go back home while the evacuation order is in effect. We understand that being away from your home for an extended period of time can be stressful. We will allow you back into your neighborhood as soon as it is safe. When repopulating, law enforcement may require you to show ID to confirm you are a resident, reducing looting and theft incidents. Visit ReadySanDiego.org in your local fire department for more information. San Diego County uses the Alert San Diego Reverse 911 system. This system can contact you through your mobile device, VoIP phone number, and email address. Alert San Diego will send you accurate, location-based news and updates if your home or business is at risk during an emergency. To register your mobile or other device, visit www.readysandiego.org forward slash Alert San Diego. Listed and unlisted landline phones are included in Reverse 911 and do not need to be registered. You have taken the steps to repair your home. You have an emergency supply kit and you have a plan. When emergency hits, plan for a possible evacuation and be set. This is called pre-evacuation, preparing for a possible evacuation. Set up to evacuate by preparing your vehicle and your home. Start your vehicle and ensure you have enough fuel. You should keep your tank at at least half full at all times. Back your vehicle into your driveway, load your vehicle with the items you need, including your emergency supply kit, Monitor the news and be ready to leave quickly. Inside your home, move any furniture that may be flammable to the center of the room away from windows and doors. Remove any window shades and curtains that may be flammable. Shut all windows and doors and leave them unlocked. Gather items around your home such as patio furniture, trash cans, doormats, and children toys and move them away from the house Patio furniture and toys can be moved inside, or if you have a pool, you can put them inside the pool. Shut all windows and doors, leaving them unlocked. Turn off your gas and or propane tanks. Seal open spaces such as attics and ground vents with pre-cut plywood or commercial seals. Do not leave sprinklers running or leave running water. This can negatively affect water pressure in your area. You have a garden hose, connect it to an outside water spigot for firefighters to use. Ensure the water spigot is off. Leave exterior lights to your home on. This makes your home visible at night for firefighters. Visit ReadySanDiego.org in your local fire department for more information. In an emergency, things can change rapidly and in unpredictable ways. Even the best laid out plans may change. There are many systems in place to notify you, but these systems may not always alert you in time. Be familiar with the fire risk in your area. Know if there's fire weather. Watch the local news and stay informed. If an evacuation order is given, go. If an evacuation order hasn't been given, don't wait to leave. If you feel there's a threat, leave. Go early. Leaving early gives you and your family the best chance of survival.
Visit ReadySanDiego.org in your local fire department for more information.